Hi everyone. So it was a very unusual Wednesday. Uh, I took my son uh, for gymnastic class for the first time. So as you can see, I picked them up right after gymnastic that class lessons that day. And his sister and uh, was keeping me updated about how the first class went. And so as we we so as we were heading back home, driving around uh, the island. I noticed that the weather was really, really beautiful. It wasn't sunny, it wasn't hot. And I thought, why not allow them, you know, have a little play while we enjoy the view of the sea. And right as we were standing, uh, you know, looking over the sea and watching them play and try out the gym um, uh, around the neighborhood, I remember that the last time we went out, I promised my 10 year old that we were going to visit the lighthouse and as you can see the lighthouse tower from over here and so i we i decided to you know we drive down to the lighthouse since it wasn't really that far and here we are on our way to the lighthouse the kids were excited um the background my son was yelling we're going to the lighthouse we're going to the lighthouse they were all excited really and this was this was going to be the first time I myself will be uh, attempting to go into the lighthouse. I've been there several times before, just around, you know, taking pictures around. But we've never gone into the building. And today we decided we'll go inside and see what it looks like. And it was a really amazing experience. So we met with the lighthouse keeper as soon as we arrived. As you can see, we are still enjoying the view. I try to keep my eyes on my son because he has tendencies of wandering away. So I kept calling him and, you know, making sure that he stays close to me because it's a dangerous place. There's a, a cliff um, all around, you know. And so we're heading right now into the building. And this is the first stop. We stopped and we had a... Uh, the kids were exploring and asking questions about all of these weapons. Uh, it was he, the lighthouse keeper explained to us that this was used for protecting the island against militants, um, English and French militants back in the 1800s. And then we went in, like I said, it was a really nice, pleasant uh, lighthouse keeper. He was really generous. He told us we don't have to pay and he, he offered to take us in. The climbing, it was a really tight space. So you can see how I'm holding my son's hand really tight right there. I don't want him jumping off or wandering off like I didn't know what to expect. So, And we came up to this first floor. It was a beautiful view. He told us how some people have small wedding gatherings here because they believe that the lighthouse is a well-oriented place, a very good tradition for anyone that wants to start a well-oriented family. And so it's just like a, you know, uh, a nice vibe to starting a wedding because of the orientation, the strong orientation that the lighthouse um, has. And so a lot of people like to come here to have uh, small gatherings. He further took us ahead to the last floor where the lighthouse is situated. This is a very, very tight space. So we had to really go in carefully and we had to be careful. There was instruction to not touch the light. So this was a very difficult task, especially for my son who had, you know, likes to wander around and touch things. So I had to hold him really tight here. And I asked the lighthouse keeper to also hold him on the other hand. But luckily, we were able to, uh, you know, make it to the top without touching any light, uh, without touching anything. It was a really, really tight room. But we made it there and the view over there was amazing. It was awesome. We saw how beautiful the island is. We could see so many parts of that. In fact, we could see the entire island or uh, city of Praia from this top. And he continued to explain to us how the lighthouse was building in 1881, about 143 years old. It's about 25 meters t um, tall, um, above sea level, and uh, it was built to protect, you know, it serves as a protection for the seas and the ships coming in, um, you know, the lighthouse has its functions so that will be included in the comment section. So anyway, we, we really had quite a lot of... Um, we enjoyed the view. We could see the ships coming in, landing on the docks or on the ports of Praia. We even had the opportunity to see someone in the sea um, snorkeling. There were so many things around 
and so here we are back down on the first floor i allowed the children to enjoy the sea view one more time because it was really beautiful and i know my son likes to look over the sea he enjoys the sea as you can see a boat is pulling up and there's another ship pulling up on the ports of Praia. We could literally see every part of the city from where we are. And that's one of the things I think that's fascinating about the location of the lighthouse. Like you could see the entire city from where we are. And that's one of the beautiful things about it. Anyway, we still stayed behind to enjoy the view. I, I showed my children some parts of the city where we know we are all familiar with. Uh, as we continue to explore this part of the the lighthouse and here we are we took some pictures the beautiful pictures that we took with my kids uh, my son was that's my son pointing in to go back into the lighthouse he made a good friend <laughs> he loves dogs and then the lighthouse keeper was really generous to take a picture with the kids and that's the the name of the dog is also lighthouse a uh, faro in portuguese lighthouse means faro so, and that's in the name of the the dog which is another another beautiful thing that we enjoy. And here we are back on the top. He was able to explain to me that that was um, the former lighthouse. This is the former lighthouse, this particular lamp looking building as the children continue to explore the building and with time to say bye, bye bye.